Oh, hi. My name is Chris Carey. I'm a recent 2010 graduate from the Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Alexandria, Virginia. And I'd like to share my research project in glove-based user interfaces. Every senior at TJ completes a year-long research project. My project took place at the Computer Systems Lab under Lab Director Mr. Randy Latmer. Uh, and its goal was to create the glove interface, an interface that would allow a person to control a computer application at a distance through gestures while wearing gloves. It works in a two-dimensional plane in space. There's no three-dimensional depth perception or gesture recognition involved. But what it can do is take the utility of a multi-touch screen and extend it beyond the display. The idea of the glove interface came into popularity through the Spielberg movie Minority Report, in which the main character, many years in the future, controls a computer application using a glove interface, similar to this one. My ultimate goal was to turn that system into reality. Now various researchers are working on glove interface systems, both small scale and large scale. And in fact, my hardware implementation received some pointers uh, from the research done by Johnny Lee at Carnegie Mellon University involving the Wiimote Whiteboard Project. But you'll see some similarities and differences between my own implementation and other implementations of glove interface systems that have been popping up in recent years. My glove system uses a standard webcam modified to receive infrared light in conjunction with gloves containing infrared LEDs on three of the fingertips. Because the system is working in the 950 nanometer spectrum of light, it's very easy for the computer software to locate the user's fingertips uh, since they're illuminated in exactly that spectrum. Custom software written in Java handles image processing. Each frame from the live video feed coming from the webcam is captured. You'll see it at the bottom left hand part of the screen. And you'll notice that the infrared LEDs show up very clearly because it, we're only working in the infrared spectrum. A circle detection algorithm is run on the live video feed and the X and Y coordinates of the centers of those circles representing my fingertips are located and tracked through each frame. Uh, these tracks are run through gesture recognition software which uh, can recognize gestures that are mapped to controls in this custom photo manipulation application which was also written by myself in Java to handle uh, both demonstration of this interface but also testing. So with a two finger pinch I can drag around a photo. If I pinch one of the corners I can simultaneously rescale and rotate that photo. Or with two hands I can do a double two finger pinch anywhere on the photo and also rescale and rotate it without having to drag on the corners. With a three finger grab, I can pan the entire perspective around. And with a double three finger grab, I can zoom in and out. This research took place between September 2009 and April 2010. All of the hardware and software demonstrated here was constructed by myself. Uh, the only external library used was the Java Media Framework Library, which connects the Java software to the webcam. I'll provide a link with further information, including a more detailed procedure and experimental analysis. I'd like to acknowledge my school, Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology, and my lab director, Mr. Randy Latimer, for helping me complete this research. I'd like to recognize the Armed Forces Communications and Electronics Association, Intel, Northrop Grumman, the U.S. Patent Trademark Office, and the CIA for their recognition of my project at the Science Fair. My project received a first place award in the category of computer science at both the Fairfax County Regional Science and Engineering Fair and the Virginia State Science and Engineering Fair. Uh, finally, I'd like to recognize Technos, our school, Science and Technology Journal for publishing my research paper.
And for my future plans, I've just graduated from TJ, and in the fall, I'll be attending Rochester Institute of Technology to major in software engineering. So, if you don't mind, I'm now going to make this turtle swim off screen without touching anything. <laughs>